Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world evenly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And a uh, little woman's lesson is edifying. This lesson is going to be titled as Examine Yourself um, as You're in the Ministry. All right, Examine Yourself as You're in the Ministry. You know, and the reason why I titled this lesson is this is because, um, you know, we just. Uh, Got done having the Passover. I mean, it's not over. We still got seven more days, but it's it's a high time to examine yourself while we're in the you know this uh seven day period of the south of the uh, Passover. So like it, you know, because there's gonna be a lot. <coughs> so like it, there's gonna be a lot of individuals that's gonna be brought out. You know, after this Passover, a lot of things are gonna happen. A lot of shifting. Is going to occur. So you as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you want to really examine yourself as we're um, going through these seven days of, um, you know, of not eating unleavened bread and, and passing through the Passover. All right, because there's a there's going to be a shifting that's going to occur. It has happened many times since I've been in the truth. It has happened many times. All right, and um, there's a lot of shifting going on. So. We are um, to examine ourselves more, you know, um, during this Passover period. Because there is a shifting that's going to occur. And you're going to see it, you know. Well, when we pray that we're not those individuals to be shifted out of the truth. You know, and I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So I'm going to read some scriptures. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying. Um, now the precept I'm going to get out. Is uh, I'll start with 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It's the 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Come on, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, whether you be in the faith. All right, because even though you know you may be in a camp or you may be a, a, a Jake that's just a, a you know. You're in the truth, you know, but you don't have brothers around you, but you're in this, you know, you're um, partially alone, you know, when you're going out there teaching, you know. So, you know, while you're in this ministry, all right, you are to examine yourselves whether you are in the faith. You want to examine yourself. You want to watch how you talk on camera. You want to watch how you present yourself on camera, all right, because we are those examples. Yahweh Shai was that example. He was a perfect example of how to be in a ministry. I'm going to get that precept out right now in a minute. But you as an uh, Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you are really to uh, examine yourself. All right. And when you go into the meaning of that word examine, which I'm going to get out right now. Examine. It means inspect someone or something in detail to determine their nature or condition investigate thoroughly inspect so that's how you got to be you got to examine yourself inspect yourself right into detail look at how you are in the ministry you know are you doing things uh decently and in order are you bringing things out uh correctly are you breaking the scriptures down correctly right are you um really studying to show yourself approved you know inspect yourself look at uh things um with yourself in the ministry, you know, what is it that you're lacking in that you can work on? All right, what is it here that I may need? What is it here, there that I might need to fix on with myself? I'll speak it for myself first and foremost when I when I, when I I give examples uh, in this video. You know, that's how I look at myself on a daily basis. What is it more that I need to do on myself? Because just because you're in the truth, don't think that you don't need to, uh, don't think that you ain't lacking anything. All of us is lacking something. You know, it, whatever it is, you know, it can be faith. It can be on your faith. You know, you can be having a doubtful spirit on you. It can be with exhortation, right? 
It can be with, um, you know, um, uh, what is it? Uh, you being uh, diligent, right? It can be with you, uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, each and every one of us individually is lacking something, all right? And that's something that you want to build up. And one way to build up is, is to look at those areas and fix them, you know? You may be a Jake that may have a, a emotional spirit on you. You may be a Jake that get uh, emotional, you know? You may be a Jake that's, you know, a brother can be correcting you, and you may have, uh, the you may be pumped up in the flesh to be prideful, all right? You know, there's, the brother's have different weaknesses you gotta you gotta look at that could it be me you know giving too much time to this woman is she a distraction for me you know that we all have weaknesses in the ministry so you want to examine yourself all right you want to really break yourself down as a man of the lord and see what you can fix how you can be how you are to uh teach the ministry right Following the elders of false Reed millstone, are you teaching the word in truth and sincerity? You know, these are things that I ask myself. You know, I'm just bringing out the the questions that I ask myself on a daily basis when I tune into the lives of the elders. You know, or I look at brothers and how they're teaching. You know, their ministry. You know, I always look at myself. Okay, you know, I go over what I need to go over. You know, it's a lot of for rambling. So exactly. Inspect someone or something in detail to determine their nature and or condition. Investigate thoroughly. So investigate yourself. You know, look at look at the things that you're lacking in and try to strengthen those areas, man. All right. Am I spending too much time, you know, um, working? You know, do I need to be doing more lessons? You know, uh, am I not being in tune into the uh live streams am i taking notes like i should be you know because things get in the way you know we go through things at work we got work we got school some of us going to school we got work we got all these things but we always got to remember to continually sustain in a ministry keep examining yourself don't think because you're in the truth that you ain't lacking nothing all of us is lacking something we ain't these mortal bodies man you know let's get back to that precept second corinthians 13 and 5 Examine yourself. So examine yourself. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. Whether ye be in the faith. So whether you're in the faith, examine yourself. Inspect yourself. Investigate yourself. You know, it's easy to go and get to know somebody, but you need to get to know yourself in the ministry. Look at the things. What can you strengthen or fix? You know, because we all lacking something, man. We're all lacking something, brothers. It says, prove your own selves. See, prove your own selves. All right, we're proving ourselves worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashimashai. This is a spiritual battle between yourself. Prove of your own self. Because you got to show yourself individually uh, worthy in the eyes of the Lord, right? We're working out our salvation with fear and trembling, right? So you got to prove of your own selves. Prove your own selves. Show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. So we all individually are working out our salvation. So while we're in this ministry, we have to examine ourselves. We have to look at the things what that we need to work on with ourselves in the truth. That's what it's all about. It says, know ye not your own selves. See, how that Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates. And when you look up reprobate, it means rejected. Because the Lord can take the spirit from you, you know. And I said this many times before. I know brothers getting tired of me saying this. But just because you're in a camp, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. And just because you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. Because you got Jakes that have that mindset. They come into the truth and, you know, they be like six months to a year in this thing. And they just, oh, I'm, I'm of the elect. I know I'm of the elect. No, you don't know you're the elect. You know, we're working out our salvation. We're uh, building ourselves on a daily basis, you know, fixing ourselves, you know, come, coming out of the world, this, the, the naive ways of this society, you know, uh, building ourselves up and conducting ourselves uh, as Israelite men, uh, men according to the scriptures, right? And we're uh, following the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Those men are perfect examples as well on how to be in a the ministry. They teach us not to be emotional, not to be carnal, right? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem because Yahweh Shai was that perfect example, all right? He was that perfect example, you know? So we got to be as how Yahweh Shai was when he was on the earth, man. He's a perfect example. 
So you want to examine yourself in the ministry, examine yourself in the truth. Look at your weaknesses. Look at things that you can uh, fix, that you that, that you need to fix. So like, you know, you're trying to fix, you're trying to get better in. You know, you ain't going to be this perfect man of the Lord. That's not what I'm telling you to do. What I'm telling you to do is fix on the things that you know that you need to work on, man. All of us know the things that we need to work on. It can be charity, you know, being there for brethren, you know, you know, uh, speaking to more brothers, you know, lifting them up. It can be, again, with faith. It can be with, uh, you know, you be, being diligent, right? We have different things each and every one of us, you know, we're not all going to be having the same exact weaknesses. In other words, man, or things that we lack. In. Each brother lacks something. It, whatever it is, it's, it's between you and your how about you, All right? The public, the world doesn't have to know what you lack in it. All right? That's for you. That's between you and your how about you, But I'm saying individually, you need to, you need to, you know, work on those things that you know what you need to work on. That's what I'm saying. So hopefully, you know, if I'm not confusing... You know, if you if I am, you know, um, comment and let me know, you know, so I can reiterate, reiterate, you know, to to your understanding. So like it. This is Romans one and twenty eight. Romans one and twenty eight. It says, even as they did not retain Yahweh Shemashai in their knowledge, and this is what has happened to a lot of individuals. They didn't retain Yahweh Shemashai in their knowledge. As a matter of fact, we're going to get out that word retain. Okay. Retain. It means continue to have something, keep possession of, right? Absorb and continue to hold a substance, right? So we learned this truth, right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimashai, through his men, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, all right? They didn't continue. You had Jakes that were in Great Millstone, they either got kicked out or they fell out. They didn't retain, they didn't continue, right? In this truth, they didn't continue, but the Lord uh, set that up, right? The Lord, you know, uh, has a lot for, for each and every one of us individually that we have to play out, and we don't know it. This is why, again, like we were saying, uh, you know, when we had to sit down, you know, when we had our sit down, you know, and while we were at camp, you don't know what your lot is. You have to play it out. You know, Lord willing, the Lord keep us retaining in the ministry, you know, because, hey, everything is of Yahweh Shemashai. And this is why, again, you got to be asking the Lord for mercy. You know, we all need to be asking the Lord, Yahweh yeah, Shemashai for mercy, man, including myself. You know, because Lord willing, you know, um, you know, we are that elect, right? Romans 1 and 28, it says, And even as they did not retain Yahweh yeah, Shemashai in their knowledge, Yahweh yeah, Shemashai gave them over to a reprobate mind, right? The Lord took the spirit from individuals. You know, you had men that was in this truth nine years, 10 years, 15 years, right? And then through time, the Lord just takes the spirit from them, you know? Brothers was probably doing things that they weren't uh, examining on every day. They weren't looking over on every day, all right? you, For example, you get your car fixed every month, right? You get your oil changed every month. You know to get your car checked. You know to get your brakes fixed, right? You know to get your oil changed. You know, to get your rotors fixed, you know, you get your spark plugs done, right? Your thermostat, you, you you get all that done on your car every month, right? Everything is checked so you can have a good car, good conditioned car to get to work and back, right? So you got to be like that 10 times more in the ministry. You know, we got to, you got to be checking yourself, all right? What am I lacking in? You know, hey, if you don't know what you're lacking in, write down the things, you know, that, um, those the basic things. I'll, I'll write down faith. Let me see faith. Read some scriptures on faith. Am I having a problem with faith? Diligence. Am I diligent? All right. What else is what else is that I need to examine on exhortation? Am I am I, am I doing that right? Humility. Am I humble? Right. These this is what examining is all about. You know, because when you do those things, I'm telling you, brothers, when you do those things and you look at those things and you because you are gonna know what you know that you know what you lack in, man. You know, you're going to know, you know, it could be pride, man. You could be a Jake that, that say you're not prideful, but when a brother really, uh, you know, tell his brother something and it, and it fucks with your flesh. Okay. Yeah. I got a, I got the pride demon. I need to get, get that in order, you know, because a brother can be saying it to, you know, the whole group. And then that one brother feels that it's being directed towards, 
towards him. You got a pride demon on you. You gotta that's something that you gotta work on. You know, and when you get rebuked, things like that. You know, it's easy to, to talk about things and do lessons on stuff, but when it comes your way, you can't get upset. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. This is why this is the things that I work on. Humility. Humility to me, humility is one of the biggest things I I try to keep. You know, not keep, but I pray the Lord keep me in. Cause that's that's the main thing that um always uh, look at for myself is is humility, man. Trying to be more humble. You know, I'm humble, but I want to be more humble. Cause again, like the elders and apostles, great millstone said, the longer you are in your journey, the more humble you want to be. The more longer you're in your journey, the more humble you want to be. Cause you got Jakes that come into this thing, they get two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then they just start, the pride come on that. Well, I've been in the truth this long, you know, I don't need to take orders from nobody. I've been in the truth. Nah, it don't matter. You want you want to be humble. You want to be sincere, right? This is Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not retain Yahweh Bashemashai in their knowledge, see, they didn't retain Yahweh Bashemashai in their knowledge. But it's got emotional, Right? They, they fell out. They couldn't take rebuke. They got kicked out, right? They start speaking against Yahweh Shemashai, speaking against the men of the Lord. Because once you speak against the men of the Lord, you're speaking against Yahweh Shemashai, you know? Because that's what happens to a lot of Jesus, because the Lord speaks to his men. So when you speak against his prophets, right, you're speaking against Yahweh Shemashai. It says, Yahweh Shemashai gave them over to a reprobate mind. The Lord took the spirit from them. He took the spirit from them. And the scariest thing is you don't even... You, the Lord can put a, a, a spirit on you to have you think that you're teaching the truth and you can be teaching totally false doctrine because that can happen. The Lord can take the spirit from you. He can take your gift and give it to someone else. This is why we all, this is why I always say, if you reject that's in the truth and you've been in the truth six months and above, you are to use your gift. If you're not using it, you can be that individual where the Lord will take the, take the spirit from you and give it to someone else. You don't want that. I would want that. This is why you want to be self-examining and really looking at yourself in the ministry. If you've been in this truth a year, two years, that's awesome. Now you got to do more examining. Now you got to do, uh, you know, more uh, 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 humility, things like that. Because the one to two years, when you hit one to two years, that's when your flesh and things like that start 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 coming to you all at once. You know, things start intensifying. You know, um, situations start occurring. You know, it's, it's a sh it's shifting season right now. So more examining. I'm speaking for myself. It says, gave them over to a reprobate mind. And again, that word reprobate means rejected. All right. The Lord took the spirit away. It says, and to do those things which are not convenient, right? You got guys teaching that the MOTV is a cell phone. You got guys saying that the MOTV is sin. You got guys that's teaching that they are already in a new covenant. That's not, you're not in a new covenant yet, all right? You're not in a new covenant, but oh, we're already in a new covenant. You got guys having a problem um, with uh, Elder High Priest King Masha being King David reincarnated. They, you know, they got a problem with that. Right? Hey, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know, hey, if you don't believe that, that's your opinion, keep it to yourself. But you don't have to go and set up a doctrine trying to debunk that. That's that's where a, that's where problems come. That's not self-examining. You know, things like that. You want to come up against the elders and woke up against the elders and you learn from them. So you only been in truth 15 years, you don't know shit still. You know, but obviously the Lord took the spirit away. It says to do those things which are not convenient. And we see the things that these individuals are doing which are not convenient, man. This is Psalms 51 and 11. And this is what King David said. This is Psalms 51 and 11. It says, cast me not away from thy presence. See, so King David begged and asked the Lord, cast me not from thy presence, right? And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So he was asking the Lord for mercy. When you read Psalms 51, read, read Psalms 51 from verse 1 all the way down. You'll see King David was asking the Lord for mercy. We have to do the same. That's what self examine as well. Asking the Lord for mercy. Asking the Lord to keep you 
following the men of the Lord and learning and growing in the truth because you don't know your lot. You do not know your lot. You don't know where your lot is. All right. You just playing it out. So you want to consistently ask Yahweh Mashai for mercy, man. I'm seeking for myself first and foremost. Yahweh Mashai have mercy on us, man. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on you. You know, if you tune into this lesson, pray to the Lord, I have mercy on you, man. I pray for brothers all the time, you know, including myself, man, because you don't know, man. You don't know what your lot is. You don't. You really don't, man. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 12. It says, let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example of the believers. And that's what self-examining. All right. I'm doing a lesson right now. All right. So I'm being an example to the believers. Now I got to. Whatever I'm saying in this lesson, I must be doing off camera. I'm not supposed to just be saying this and then I'm not doing what I'm saying because now I'm being a hypocrite. And that's the thing. If you're going to do lessons and you want to be this man of the Lord, you better be doing what you're saying you're doing. Because if you're not doing what you're saying you're doing, you're going to be brought out to the light. That's why you want to be really self-examining, really taking heed. To, to the scriptures, really applying uh, the scriptures to your spiritual walk, because this is a spiritual battle for you individually with yourself. You know, so you want to be that an example to the believers. However, you carry yourself on camera, you better be that individual off camera, man. It says in word, see in word. How you breaking this? This for example, how you breaking the scriptures down, right? If you are you breaking the scriptures down, right? As how you were taught by the men of the Lord. Alright? Who are the elders of the Apostle Greenman's Are you breaking down Revelation 18 right? Are you breaking down Deuteronomy 28 right? If you breaking down Isaiah 40, 40, uh, Isaiah 49 right? Are these breakdowns. Are you breaking down Revelation 13 right? Are you breaking those things down correctly? You know, in word, right? In conversation, right? As you breaking scriptures down, you explain it, right? This, for example... In charity, in charity, are you being there for brothers? When brothers in need of stuff, are you really sincerely giving it? Are you literally being a brother when you claiming to be a man of the Lord? In charity, are you, you know, it doesn't got to be with money. It could be just supporting a brother, you know, uh, you know, having a fellowship with him when a brother's feeling low, right? In spirit, in spirit, in faith, in faith, right? It says in purity, in purity. So you got to be that an example to the believers, man. The person who you portraying to be on this camera, you better be that individual off that camera. So again, this is this is the month to really be examining uh, an increase of examining. OK, really looking at the things that you need to work on in, you know, in your spiritual walk in the ministry. You know, I'm speaking for myself, first and foremost, you know, this has been on my spirit heavy um you know um, i was at the plantation so you know you know i just be sitting there thinking i just be like man you know i'd be looking at other brothers uh videos i'd be like man you know that i had the spirit that's the spirit man you know even the elders i'm like okay con you know i i gotta look at that you know so the water y'all washing my shine man you know john 13 and 15, it says, for I have given you, and this is what Yahweh Shai said. This is what Yahweh Shai did. Yahweh Shai is that perfect example for us how to be in a ministry. And that's how the elders and apostles of Great Millstone conduct themselves, right? Being that example how Yahweh Shai was. He's the perfect example, right? Now we have mentors and elders, right, which are following in the ways of Yahweh Shai. All right? Yahweh Shai speaks through his men, Luke 1 and 70, Matthew 10 and 20. Right? John 13, 15. For I have given you an example. See? Yahweh Shai is a perfect example. It says that ye should do as I have done to you. See? So you want to be a perfect, not perfect, but you want to be that example. All right? You want to be an example to the believers. Right? Yahweh Shai is a perfect example. Right? That's why the Lord had men set up. And those men are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. So... You know, I'm in it there with that, beloved brothers. Again, man, this is this is the shifting year, man. All right, the shifting month. All right, we just had the beginning of the Passover. It's going to be seven days. So in these seven days, you know, while you're not eating unleavened, anything, you know, unleavened, right? Leavened, right? No doughy stuff. Do the examination, man. Really uh, watch, 
yourself in, a, in, a, in this ministry. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost because there's a shifting that's going to be occurring. It's going to be a lot more individuals that's going to be brought out. And I pray that we're not those individuals. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, man. All right, so Lord wounds, that's is edifying. I want to give our honors and glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mahavah, Chachodash. And double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Mahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach, Arazakah, from the service of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.